boy, kids. It's your boy, Grom, here. We're going to be playing a game by these new build kits called Entity Researchers. Why are you staring at me like that? Very interesting, very interesting. Please enter your username. Grum! These are the details we have on file. Ah, initial stage. I want to get geared up and have a little bit more defense and speed to do things a bit quicker and not die as much. But we all got to try a hardcore game. Shlom! That sounds rude. I'm Shlom, Eerie Supervisor R rank. Head of the Cycle Bay Eerie Department. I will be monitoring your progress. You are currently on trial until further notice. This is our Cycle Bay Nerve Center. From relative safety, our technicians can sit at their terminal. Controlling the ARX unit out in the field. Though problems can still occur. First, let's get you comfortable with your Aeronet feed. From there, you can select jobs and much more. Let's head to your Aeronet feed now. I'll show you around. All right. Would you like me to show you around the Aeronet feed? Yes. Welcome to Aeronet. This is your research feed. At Aerie, it is our duty to catalog and eradicate the entities. This is the job list. Select a job from the list now, so go back. They're all the same, but okay. You can see your ERX unit. Click and hold mouse button to use arrow keys to move. You will find entities roaming the area. Move to their location to attack. They'll also attack if you're close. Items can be found throughout the area. Move to the location to collect the item. Quickly identify items or entities by hovering over them. You can track your current objectives in progress. Recover two items. Scan 0 out of 150 entities. Project destroy five Earth entities. Your task is researching and eradicating the entities. Explore the location for, for entities and items. Advance towards the entities and attack. Once they are destroyed, you'll be taken back to your area net feed. All right. All right, when you encounter an entity, you'll be brought here. This is a viewport of your ERX unit. I'm just enjoying the, the music. Moves assigned to your ERX can be found here. Moves use stamina, which refills slowly. The stamina is this red bar here. Condition is my health. We got Lect, Barug, Midi, and Screen. Now we have rest and flee. Interesting. On the right, you can view your stamina and condition. At the top, you'll find the counter information, including condition and remaining research amount. On your turn, you will see the turn timer. You can rest or regain stamina, or you can attempt to escape with flee. You can have up to four moves assigned to ERX. Just like the entities, moves have different affinities. Let's use your electric move now. It's left underneath me. Line up your attack by stopping at the target area. We click the mouse button to stop. Uh, if the entity is weak to your attacks, you'll do more damage. The entity is averse to electric moves. Your ER yeah, ERX unit also has weaknesses, so be careful. Your ERX seems to be weak to earth entities. Scan entities to add them to your database. When the scan point is illuminated over an entity, click scan or press space. Alrighty. Scan Jerim. When your condition runs low, use MIDI to heal. To raise your defense, you can use screen. Think you're ready now, kid? Wipe out everything in the area and good luck. There we go. Alright. Critical! There we go. Been destroyified. Excellent. Jada Gold Stamina. Okay. 
Oh, I didn't really pick up on that quick enough. But you have a little mini game when you're trying to heal. Oh, what's that point? Uh, all right. It's a very uh, time, time and stuff based mini game. Welcome back. You did great. I'm very impressed. I was trying to pick up that item. The RX is a powerful weapon, but can be vastly improved by equipping items in your loadout. For more item information, click the item slot to move or unequip an item. You can double click or hold shift. Try and equipping an item now. Double click or hold shift. You can see the effects items will have on your EX. You can upload or delete moves the same way. Click on the item tab to open your ERX inventory. Your items can be uploaded to your ERX from here. Double click or hold shift to move an item from your inventory, then upload the item to your loadout by clicking an empty slot. Items can be used to improve everything about your ERX, so you should always be searching for more. I know more in the game element session of the main menu. You've had Nerios. Your inventory is a unique item you'll find extremely useful. When you'll find when you find entities, you'll find Geno Sacks. Burst them and they can drop plenty of rewards. I mean, just drop this all in, can't I? This one is locked for some reason. Alright. Alright, I can look into these kits. Wanna see what affinities I have. I have a bit more affinity for water now. Let's do a water one. Let's go. Is this not a dream? Scan. I ran out of time. Scan done. Makes critical weakness, all right. This is very interesting. Let's show you. Ah, uh, wrestling. That sounds like a good idea. Hmm. All right, we got it. B beam is still. This is another entity that I've never seen before. All right. Dragon can still be doing stuff in the background. I missed my attack. Alright, scan complete. Complete. Ah, oh, there we go. Complete job. Hey! Do you understand your responsibility? It took me a while to see that. Uh, complete job, and They were outlined to me in the interview. Right, but there are things we do that are, um... How do I put this? Too sensitive for the public to be readily aware of. Okay. I mean, we could hardly say we're just damage limitation. Gotta give the people some hope, you know? What are these responsibilities, then? Well, of course, protect the public and their interests. But we need you to stay quiet about what you do, you understand? There are things the public don't want to know, make them panic. They'd start doing stuff they don't normally do, stuff we can't account for. That'd mean a whole lot of people would die, you follow? Make sure you're using the correct moves for the entities you'll be facing. The more you use each move, they'll gain experience and level up. Most moves to each level there. Three and grow increasingly more powerful after that. Keep in mind, get back to it. All right. So he wants me to level up my stuff. I also got to kill Earth Entities, apparently. Let's just get into it. All right. It's your first time I'm seeing these gits. Oh, that was a real quick, uh, aversion ice. Well, oh, uh, my lightning seems to be doing just fine still. This is a very interesting combat interface. I really do like it. It's like a completely different, uh, experience to what I'm used to. Alright. Affinities. Figuration. Mm. Oh, you're a vicious dog. Let's see if I can get this in then. There we go. I changed the color of the UI. 
You can do that in this pretty easy, actually. It's a lot of customization for the UI. Well, not a lot, lot, but enough. So many of these kids doing interesting things. Refine! It's a refine machine! Two ore based items. Alright. Oh, I don't exactly have to use the same. So let's put earth ore and poison ore in. Actually, wrong order. Let's put poison ore, then earth ore in, and I get poison chippers. Or okay, it's good to know that I don't exactly need two of the same kind of thing. That's good to know. That's good to know. Experimentation, folks. All right, that job's complete. Oh, hello. See, you just passed your trial. Good work, kid. Thanks. You're making me look good. That seemed pretty easy. Let's just say some people don't share your affinity with the ERX. What do you mean? What can I say, kid? I guess you're just a natural. You did great. The things will start to get more difficult from here. I would hope so. Choose your loadout carefully to maximize your stuff. You can also refine two of the same level ores to create a better one. If you will increase your affinities and reduce damage in battle, it could help. As I've got a little assignment for you, check the mission tab when you're ready. A cargo of vital, vital eerie information has gone missing. You must recover the missing data disks by any means possible. All indications currently lead to entity interference. There's reason to believe we should focus on Genosex. Clear out all the entities and access the lower floors. Get to it. Alright. Ooh, this is new. Case file, case one. Hmm. Case one, Earth, except. Oh, I feel like I'm going to go one more defense for this one. Here's something fancy. I'm just going, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh, wow. I didn't realize how much damage it had done. That's game over. Very interesting. Difficulty can ramp up pretty quickly, it seems. Well, I'm not going to start up a new one here. Instead, I'm just going to say that's been Entity Researchers. Thank you very much for dropping by and enjoying the video. I do recommend the game. It seems very interesting. It seems like I haven't even gotten to the depth of it yet. There's a lot of... uh. Combining crafting in a very simple and elegant way. The combat system itself is unique. Uh, the whole thing gives off a little bit of an SCP vibe, which I'm pretty sure it was like an inspiration that they hold on their sleeves. But it's very, very interesting so far. I like it. I'll probably play more of this on stream. But until then, have a good one, folks. Take care. Watch some other videos as well. Bye-bye! <laughs>